If I was starting over, here's how I would go about learning Python really fast. Warp speed. Step one, everything starts off with choosing the right course to study the basic materials. First, let's talk about some free options. When I started off learning Python, the course that I did personally was this one called Python for Everybody, which you can do for completely free on Coursera. I believe it's by the Michigan University or something like that. It's a great course, teaches you all the basics that you need to know about Python not much else to say about that. Another great option, which I haven't done myself, is CS50's new Python course. Judging by how much I love CS50's other courses, I have no reason to believe that this wouldn't also be amazing. But if I was starting over, and the course that I now recommend to everyone is actually Zero to Mastery's online Python bootcamp. I talk about Zero to Mastery all the time. And you might think that I talk about them only because I am affiliated with them, but that's not actually the case. I am choosing to be affiliated with Zero to Mastery rather than any other course providers because I like their courses so much and I'm personally just a big fan of their teachers and their style and the fact that just with one subscription you get access to all of their whole catalog of like 40 courses or something like that. I even do them personally myself all the time and the reason I prefer their Python course to these other free options is that it's just a bit more complete. It doesn't just teach you the basics, it actually also then goes into the intermediate and the advanced stuff as well and it has a lot of projects in between for you to practice. So yeah, that's the one I would choose and I am affiliated with them which is great for you because you can go down in the description box below and find my discount code for 10% off their subscription if you want to just do the python course that's absolutely fine you can probably finish it in like one to two weeks or three weeks depending on how many hours you're able to put in and then you can just unsubscribe after that and you might already be saying that doing courses isn't enough you shouldn't just do tutorials blah 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 and I'll be the first one to agree I'll be the first one to agree that if you want to learn programming language the big biggest mistake that people make that they just focus on tutorials they just focus on doing some course and they just leave it at that that is not how you actually master a language and I'll talk about the other things that you need to do further on in, in this video but to get started with you absolutely should start with some course, with some tutorials to get you acquainted with the language, to get you acquainted with the basics because you can't really start building anything before you are even familiar with the language. But that is when we get to steps two, three and four, which I'll talk about next. Second, you need to practice every single day. What you need to understand is that coding, Python, any language or any other skill, everything is learnable, everything is figure outable. But in order to learn these kinds of skills, all we have to do is just put in the practice and be consistent with it. I cannot stress enough how important this is. There's a great book on this topic called Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell where he essentially introduces this idea of the 10,000 hour rule where if you want to master any kind of skill you need to practice it for 10,000 hours cumulatively before you can really be great at it. So if you need to do 10,000 hours it's not enough to just do one hour a week. That would take like 10,000 weeks which is like probably longer than our entire lifetimes. So you need to be consistent and you need to put in the work every day. There's obviously no set amount of hours that you need to do every day if you want to get good at coding. But what you need to do is set an hourly goal every single day and how many hours you do depends on your ambition level as well as your life situation. How many hours you can do and how ambitious you are, how many hours you want to do. I would recommend at the very least one hour every single day to get any sort of manageable progress done. Hopefully even more than that, like two to three hours would probably be good. And if you're really ambitious, like like I was when I was learning to code, you can do up to like five, six or even seven hours if you don't have any other responsibilities. Or even if you do, you can come home at 5 p.m., have dinner, whatever, 7 p.m., 10 p.m., you just grind coding. You just put in the work every single day. And I promise you, you will learn extremely fast if you just put in the hours every day. It's sort of obvious, but I feel like it just needs to be said. Number three is to not only study hard, but also study smart. Many people don't realize that not every hour that you spend studying or working is created equal. How effective your hours are really depending on the sort of study methods you use and how much you are able to focus during your time in your study. I made a whole detailed video around how I study small rather than just hard. But the gist of it is that the most important thing that you should do is start practicing something called deep work where essentially all that means is that when you are working you are only focused on working. You're not allowing yourself to be distracted. You don't have your phone around you and it might seem like a very small thing that if you get one notification that you read it like what's the big deal that takes like one minute and then you can just get back to work. But the way our brains actually work is that 
whenever you get out of your work, whenever you get out of your flow state, your focused state, you enter this sort of context switching mode where to get back to the same level of focus will actually take up to 20 minutes, even for a small 30 second to one minute distraction. So not being distracted is key. If you want to learn more about this, you can again watch my other videos and I'll make a whole detailed video on deep work if you want to see that. But yeah, study smart by implementing deep work. Last but not least, and actually most importantly, now that you've got the basics down from your basic course, which can, by the way, be any course that you find useful, it doesn't even really matter. The ones I mentioned are just the ones that I recommend. And now that you also, you've got a routine, you're determined to do your two to four hours every single day or however many hours you are able to do. And now that you've got your right study techniques down by watching my videos around it, perhaps. No, okay. Now we actually get to the part where you'll actually learn Python, which is when you start applying what you're learning. After you've done your basic Python course, you might think that you, now you actually know Python because you've learned all these things. But believe me when I say this, you still know absolutely nothing. And you'll realize this once you figure out a project to build, you open up your blank BS code file and you realize that you have absolutely no idea where to get started. So what you then do is you start Googling things, every problem that comes to your mind, you just Google it, you start figuring things out on your own and then you remember like oh yeah this was the that thing that i learned on that course oh yeah i forgot about this but it's only once you start to figure things things out on your own that your brains actually learn how to use them that is how our brains work and this concept of putting things into practice is so fundamentally important that I made this whole other video about it. Got over 200,000 views. I'm really proud of this video. It's really good, actually. So if you want to even dream about actually learning to code, you absolutely must watch this video next because otherwise none of these other things even matter.